the United States military could be forced to withdraw its troops currently based in Ukraine if Russia invaded the country. Nearly 200 United States National Guard troops are in Ukraine. They are part of a regular rotation since 2015, training with Ukrainian soldiers alongside troops from NATO countries such as Canada and Germany. In addition, there are an unknown number of U.S. Special Operations Forces in the country, working with their Ukrainian counterparts. U.S. President Joe Biden has ruled out the possibility of U.S. troops fighting against Russia if they invade Ukraine. This is seen as a distinct possibility as Moscow has deployed more than 100,000 troops and heavy combat equipment along the country's borders, according to Western estimates. That could mean the Americans now in Ukraine forced to retreat hastily if fighting erupted. The Florida National Guard has members currently deployed to Ukraine in this capacity to provide advice and assistance in rotation, said Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby. Obviously, we will continue to monitor the situation on the ground, and if necessary we make decisions for protection purposes force, we will, Kirby said. No changes are planned to their operations in Ukraine at this time since 2015 American reservists have participated in disaster relief operations and joint military training in Ukraine on a regular nine-month rotation. They are based in Yvorov in the far west of the country, near Poland and far from the scene of fighting between Ukrainian government forces and pro-Moscow separatists in the east. The contingent on duty arrived last November and is rescheduled for late June. Even so, little is known about the small number of U.S. Special Operations Forces inside Ukraine. European Special Operations Command plays a large role in the development of Ukraine's Special Operations Forces through regular validation exercises, said Lt. Col. Anton Semelrov, a Pentagon spokesman. However, he said their numbers were kept secret due to operational security. Training with our Ukrainian partners fosters trust, strengthens preparedness and develops relations, which in turn promotes peace and stability across Europe, he said in a statement. Part of the training involves teaching Ukrainian soldiers how to operate the weapons Washington has given them, which include coastal patrol boats and Javelin anti-tank missiles. On Wednesday, the United States issued $200 million in new defense aid to Kiev, adding to the $450 million allocated last year before Russia began moving tens of thousands of troops to Ukraine's borders. However, the presence of an estimated 10,000 to 15,000 U.S. citizens in Ukraine who may require evacuation in war could change the mission of U.S. troops there. In December U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin avoided the question of whether U.S. troops could take part with Ukraine in a possible war with Russia. In a situation like this, I think conveying the red line only makes matters worse. I think we need to focus on finding ways to defuse and reduce tension, Austin said.